everybody welcome back to the video today so i should be in bed right now it's pretty late but i need to get this out real quick so i don't know everything that works on it yet but as of 10 hours ago someone created a windows 7 extended kernel for windows 7 which means this can open the door to running windows 10 and windows 11 programs on windows 7 so if you've watched any of my previous videos on this channel before you know that I use this OS as my main OS in 2024, and I have shown people how to use modern web browsers, how to how to use modern applications, things like that. This OS was doing pretty good without a without a kernel add-on. But as of today, this person right here, dot exe one three three seven, he's pretty well known. He has now created a Windows Seven kernel. He's created a extended kernel for the OS. So. I can't really find much much uh, much documentation on it, but I would imagine that this gets Windows 10 programs up and running on Windows 7. So if we go to this guy's Win32 right here, or no, not Win32, his, his MSF, MSFN, we can see here the process of the kernel extension. As we can see, he runs Windows 7. So let's see on his other work, things like that, Project Windows 7. So right now, this was in August of 2023. This has actually been in the works for a while, but it's been in beta, and it has not had much progress, but everything has been put together, everything's been put together recently right here. So, so one of his things, winhtp.dll, this allows Elden Ring to run without any mods, without having to do any things with the NVIDIA driver, without having to tweak your OS, without having to tweak the kernel or anything like that. This allows it to run with DXVK, just like directly. You just copy over the files into the folder, and this game would run perfectly fine with with DXVK. So there have been so many things that have been going into this already, so many files that have been going into this already, and this project seems like it's done. But the main thing is, is I can't find much information on it. So if you're running Windows 7 on a modern flash shop, supports and touch pad isn't working, and so fix the red. Oh, this is insane. Okay, so you're able to get modern drivers up and running with the Windows 7 extended kernel. This is generational. You were not able to do that with the with the Windows XP extended kernel or the Windows Vista extended kernel. So we're able to get modern drivers up and running on 7. Holy shit. So, so and I just want to let you guys know, this is my first time seeing this as well. Like this video, you know, like, like you know, with my other content... I'll usually, you know, like, write things out. I'll do my background research on all this stuff. This is my first genuine time seeing this. I was about to go to bed, and then I saw this Reddit post, and then just decided to make this real quick. But this is amazing. So as we can see, 6.9. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that's a early Windows 10 build, I'm pretty sure. Release of this Dot. So he has a a Discord server. I can't find the Discord server anywhere in here. Let me see what happens in six point ten. Okay, so I'm gonna create a MSFN account to see if I can join the Discord. Then we'll get, I'll give you guys more insight. But this is my first video on this. I'm pretty sure when I join this guy's Discord, there's probably gonna be some if some uh, uh, documentation on programs that have been up and uh, up and running on this. But this is amazing. The fact that you're able to get modern games up running, and and here's the most important thing to me too. This is what I feel like is the most important is that drivers are running for Windows 10 under the kernel. They're running it under the extended kernel. I don't think that's ever been done. Actually, no, that has not been done. We have not had a kernel add-on it's where you can make custom drivers for it this is amazing so if we i'm gonna try to read this extender they don't allow effects kicks that was such a failed project bro like this right here was supposed to be so promising but it fucking sucks and he's 6.10 let's see any more information on this discord Not a wrapper, kernel 32. So, how to install, take down F. So, I would imagine that this is a pretty complex process. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna if I'm gonna put this on my main machine or not because 
I do a lot of things on my PC. This is probably something I would I would I would probably do in a in a virtual machine before trying this out on my PC. Because the thing with 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 this right now is that it's not really unusable. I mean, you can use a modern builds of Chrome and everything like that. So I mean, Windows Seven isn't isn't at the point where it needs a kernel add-on because most of everything runs fine. But this is definitely huge for for running this OS. All right, well, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to do more research on this. But I just wanted to let you guys know that someone has made a Windows 7 extended kernel. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.